Whether you're brand new to Microsoft Word or really just want to refresh your course, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started using Microsoft Word right now. Let's jump into the software here. Now, Microsoft Word is part of the Microsoft Office suite. You can get it through the Office 365 subscription, whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And Word is really the, the word processor, and, and honestly, the sort of industry standard word processor. So maybe you've received some Word documents in an email or something like that. This is why this is so crucial to understand how to use that. Once it's installed, you will open it up, and this is the first thing you'll see is the home page right here, okay? And a couple of things to navigate here is over on the side, you can see the home. And you can see you could click on just new, which you'll just start a new document. You could open an existing document if it's something that you have on your computer that you want to open up. And then across the top here, this is really useful. There's a lot of different templates that come pre installed, pre-included with the software. So if you're looking to create a document and you want to just get started, you know, they have invoices, they have calendar views, they have, you know, a tutorial, they have documents, things like that. And then below here, if you have any existing documents that you've opened up before or recently used, they'll pop up here. So if you're going back into a document that you were working on yesterday, it'll pop up here at the top of the list. But in our case, we're just going to go to blank document. You could either click on blank document here or new over on the side panel. They'll both take you to the same thing. Now, you can see this is a brand new install for me. It pops up here to choose the theme or the design that you want, and you can change that if you'd like. Now, when we're looking at this view, this has all the tools at your fingertips to be able to start creating the document. And I'll walk through some of these things so that you know exactly what each of these do before we jump into it. So right here up at the top, there are a few different options here, okay? You can turn on auto save if you'd like, which would go into your OneDrive, which comes with the subscription, if you'd like that. There's also a little disk icon to save the document. So the first time that you do that, it will take you to a save menu and you could save it in whatever folder you want. What I usually recommend is before you even start doing the anything is save it. So this is gonna be my demo document. And I'm just gonna say that even though it's blank, even though there's nothing on there, this is just a great way so that now once I get into it, I can just click that disk or use the short key control S on a PC, uh, command S I believe on a Mac to do that. So it's already built in and you have that, okay? Right below that is sort of your navigation bar, okay? And we're on the home. And then we have a couple of different sections here that we'll cover. There's insert, there's draw, there's design. And you see every time I click on one of these, it changes out that bar directly below there. Home is where you're going to live 90% of the time unless there's something specific that you're going to do. So I'm going to show you some of the, the options that come sort of right on the page here within your home menu. So we have sort of this cut and paste sort of clipboard view. So if you're copying words from a website or from another document that you're pasting into there, that's the section you're gonna use. And I would say this next part, the font and the paragraph are ones that I'm personally, I'm probably using a lot of time. So right at the top, you have all these different fonts already pre-installed, already included. So you can change, you know, whatever fonts. And this is all going to be a little bit different for you, depending on what fonts you already have on your computer uh, versus ones that come with Word. You have your font size, so you can play around with that to get a, a, a different size. And then they have a couple of different actions with the text. So you have, you could make it all uppercase or all lowercase, which is nice because you can always change those later. And the beauty of this too is that once you type out the words on the screen, you can highlight those and change those, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Then we have the paragraph, which is the formatting. Typically, you're going to be left to center. Uh, you could also do center, you could do right justified, you could do center. You have bullet points that you could create, you could create number lists. Then you have sort of this style guide here. So you could do just normal. Again, if you're just creating a normal document, you could create you know, headlines if you want a bigger and bolder. And these are sort of preset options to what you see over here on the font and the paragraph side. 
So if you just want to go, I'm going to make a headline for this document, you could just click on the headline and it'll take you to that part. So you can see when I clicked on the headline, it gave you this sort of navigation bar over here. This is just a way of kind of breaking down your document. Again, this sort of applies when you get a really large document and you have a lot of different sections and a lot of different headlines and different types of things. This helps to sort of navigate through there. You can either close that out or open it up depending on what you want. And then the main body here is where you'll be doing your typing. So let's just create a document. We're gonna call this how to use Microsoft Word, okay? A couple of things is when you look at this, Microsoft is underlined in red. Now what that is, is that's telling me that's my misspelled. When that happens, I can go up here and just right click on my mouse, again with the PC, and it will select a couple of different options for this. You can see the spelling option, it'll give you a suggestion of what the word is probably or close to, or maybe it'll give you a couple of selections. And you can then just click on it if that is the correct and you just mistyped it. You can also add it to the dictionary. So sometimes a name or a proper noun will not be included as a, as a real word or won't show up. And then you also have, you can just ignore it. So in this document to go, no, that's how I want to spell Microsoft every time for whatever reason, I can click ignore all and it'll go through the document. Every time that comes up, it'll just ignore it. It won't alert you. But in my case, I'm going to say, yeah, sorry, I did mean to, to do that. The other thing that I go is I go, oh, you know what? Actually, I want each of those titles, each of those words to be uppercase. So I'm just going to take, again, take my mouse and we're just going to run it, holding the button down, run it over all the words and highlighting that. Okay. Now, if you remember up here in the menu, in this ribbon here, we had some options about changing the case, right? So we can go down here and go, I want that all uppercase. We can go here and go, I want to capitalize each word. And that's the one I want. So you can see it changes all of that, which is a really nice feature. So now that we have that, we can also again, highlight that and go, I wanna make that a headline. So we click on headline. You can see it makes the font bigger. It adds a little bit more space above and below it. And we're all set. Now we're just gonna hit enter on our keyboard a couple of times to come down to the body of this. And you can see when I did that, it automatically selected back to normal. Now, let's say that we go, oh, you know what? I didn't want to make that a headline. Now, what we can do is we can undo that and we can actually cycle back through all the actions that we just did. And you can do that one of two ways. There's a button way up here at the top that is undo typing. And every time you click that, you can see the cursor just went up. We can go back up to here and we can go through there, right? And we're just cycling back through everything that we did if you want to undo that. You can also do that, again, on the PC by going Control-Z, Control-Z, right? And you can see we're all the way back to that mistake. And then if you go, oh, I went back too far, you can redo the things that you just did. So we can cycle back through just by clicking that button, or it's Control-Y on the PC. And you can redo all these things, right? We'll get into the main section and I'm just gonna type something. This is my, okay, so we're just typing some text, text in there. We're gonna go through, get these kind of corrected. And you can just keep going. You just type, you can hit enter if you wanna go to a new paragraph and just keep creating the section. Now let's say I go down and I start a new paragraph and we go, oh, you know what? I, I don't want that in the document yet. You can highlight it and just pops up some options here and go, you can make that bold, you can highlight that in yellow, you could change the text color, right? So you can change it all. It doesn't change everything in the document. It changes what we just did, right? So you can highlight that and you can change all the things. Maybe we want to do that center. Maybe we want to add a strike through. And you can see you can add all that stuff right in there. And then if you don't like it, you can just highlight it all and just hit delete on your keyboard and it all goes away right? Again, we could come down here and we can go up to the top and go, let's add some bullet points. And we go, opening a document, closing a document. And so you can list off all these sort of things. And every time I hit enter, it adds a new bullet point. And you go, maybe that's, those are steps. So I want to change that. So I'm going to highlight all those. And then we're going to change that to numbers, right? So now every time we hit this, it's going to give us saving 
writing, reviewing, and it's also automatically capitalizing the first letter in each of those, right? So now we've got all of these kind of listed out steps. And if you go, oh, I want to cover more information in the opening a document, you could hit enter again. And if I hit tab on the keyboard, just like that, you can see it adds a little circle under there and indents it. And it's sort of like an outline view. So you could go opening a document, new existing template, right? So you can add all those. And then if I just hit shift tab, it takes me back to the numbers. And you can really go through and add all those in and kind of create like an outline view of everything. And at any point, you can go in and add additional. Maybe before saving, I want to add that in there rather than four. And you can see it adjusts all the numbers below there. So that's just to keep a concise list. You can see if you're done doing the list, you just hit enter again, and it takes you back into the just standard paragraph mode. Now, the other thing too to keep in mind is that Word isn't just for text. You can actually also add pictures. So you can go up to the top here, you go to insert, you can insert all these sorts of things, and I won't go through all of them, but you got pictures, you got shapes, you got icons, 3D models, screenshots, all sorts of things. But we're just going to go into pictures. You can select a picture from your device, some stock images online. Let's just go to stock images, see what comes included here. Oh, there's some nice movie seats there. And we're just going to insert that. Okay. You see, you click on insert and it drops it right down in here. Now this is editable. You can grab these corners, resize it, make it if you want a different size, pull that down, you could stretch it, you know, whatever you want to do, you could put it like this. You click out the layout options. And so you can make it so that it's in line with the text. You could have it wrapped with the text. So this is sort of a nice feature where the text will right around that, right? So we could add, we could be typing up here, right? You could just add all these things. And then when we're done, we drop below the paragraph and we start a new section. This is all about pictures, right? And so we'll highlight that. We go, we want to make that a heading. And there you go, right? Now, what's cool is you go up here and you edit this. And you see when I shrink that, the text goes with it. So maybe we want it to be like right like that. Now, a lot of times when we're typing documents, you want to know how many words you're typing. Maybe you're working on a novel or working on a short story and there's requirements about how many words that you include into that. You can get that information directly from Word without having to go through and count individual words. So we're going to go up to the review tab. So you click on this and it gives you a bunch of different options here. And first and foremost, you can go to spelling and grammar. So you could run through the whole document and it'll check for spelling and grammar and give you suggestions like that. I've been kind of correcting as I go, so it, so there's not as many, but you can see there's some grammar edits here that is saying, oh, I love popcorn, that should have a punctuation. So we go, yeah, I do want that. It's saying that pictures should have a punctuation, so we wanna add that. So it'll, it's also correcting your grammar, which, in my case, I need a lot of that. But what is also neat in this section is you can do a word count. You click on this and it is looking at the whole document and it'll give you some statistics. It'll show you how many pages it is, shows you how many words. I have 67 words, all of that information right in there. So you can adjust it as you go. You also have an option to read it out loud. Maybe just to review it, you want to hear it read. You want to hear what it sounds like. You can add comments. You know, if you're going through the document and you don't want to change specific things, you could just add a comment and say, need to add more. So you could save all this and it's now this is something that is embedded with the document, but is not written into the document. So you can go back if you're reviewing something for somebody else or in addition to, and all of that is in there. So you can see there's a ton of tools that are in here that are available to you. Going over to the view section real quick, you could look at a page layout. You have different layouts for how you want the screen to look. This is just sort of web interface. So it takes away sort of the page borders. You can look at it this way. A ton of tools here that really help you write the document and design it. 
exactly how you want. You have different layouts. You can change the margins if you want. I mean, it's all customizable, but most of the time you're gonna be in this home section for 90% of your documents when you're getting started. And as you go, I would suggest just clicking up here onto the save button. And you can see it's just saving that document into your PC because we've already set up that document to save that. And now another great feature is so, let's say make a change, even a small change to go template. And I just add an S, so now that's templates. Now we've saved a copy, but I made this change after I saved that. If I go to close this out, it's gonna pop up with the screen and say, do you wanna save those changes? because it knows you've made a change since you last saved it. And so if I hit save, it'll save it as, as that change, or I can go, no, I don't wanna save any of the changes made, or I can cancel and it'll take me back to the document. And with that, you're up and running with Microsoft Word to start writing your own documents and some of the tools to help make that even easier. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.